All right. So, from the advent of time, man has been dependent on technology. We have been engaged with technology. While, while you may say technology at different time, um, maybe different from what we have right now. I mean, technology of various era or times is most likely different from what we have right now in, in terms of forms, shape, size, or even sophistication or complexities. But um, you will agree with me that there is always something we look forward to, right? As technology to make our life better. The end of our engagement with technology is so that we can have a better life. The next slide. Okay, I have. Sorry. Okay, so a better life. The essence of technology is to make our life easier. And you would agree with me that you wake up every day to work in the hope of giving yourself a better life. We all desire a better life. We all crave for a better life. And as a matter of fact, I mean this on a lighter note, most of us want to go to heaven just because we want a better life there, right? Yes, a better life. Now, that is 50 naira notes in Nigerian currency. We call it Lego tender. Uh, and uh, in Yoruba language, it is called Adota Naira. In Aousa language, it is called Naira Amsi. Uh, Amsi, okay, thank you. And in Igbo language, it is called Naira Erise. This is it. I am sure I have not perfectly pronounced these words right in their indigenous tone. But I'm sure of one thing. AKA for this note is what? Better life. And as a matter of fact, well, I'm not sure if you can have a better life in 15 hour notes in, in, this, in this century. But looking at the background and seeing men walking there, it tells you that they are walking. If I would ask them, why are you walking? They want a better life. And possibly after their day work, or probably night, they will find themselves into a bar and get themselves chill drink. And that's still also better life. Now, the urge for us to create a better life has also created what we call technological advancement. Technological advancements that has disrupted or caused disruptions in various sectors, industries, public administration or governance, in how business make money or generate revenue. Technology has caused disruption in what you call jobs today. The job of this, of this decade is most likely or it's most likely different from what you have 20 years ago. Perhaps there's nothing called social media manager 10 years ago. Am I right? Yes. And this disruption comes in form that I describe as evolution or revolution. You might have heard of industrial revolution. From, from the 18th century, we all ushered ourselves into civilization based on steam engine. Most of us might not know what is steam engine. We'll probably you gobble it out. 2.0, that's industry 2.0, 3.0. Now to the industry 4.0 that we have right now. The civilization characterized of featuring big data. What is buzzword? Big data, artificial intelligence, internet of things, and the super hyper connectivity that we have now. Or do you want to talk about the digital evolution? In the 1980s, where we were gifted the gift of personal computers, of course, the desktop, those big um, IBM computers in those days. And fast forward to 1990s, where we have the, the internet, which we call the World Wide Web. And also in the 2000s, uh, we were gifted uh, the, uh, with the adoption of smartphones. Now, to make this interesting for you, to tell you how far we have come as human race, your smartphone that you have with you is way more powerful than the first electronic that was used to run the first mission to the moon. Now, or do you want to talk about the evolution of the internet? 
out from Web 1.0 that is actually described as a static internet, similar to your university board, where you just see your results and you can't utter anything. You know, it's just for presentation. And to the internet of now, Web 2.0, the web, I mean, the internet that gave you Facebook, the internet that gave you YouTube, the internet that gave us Twitter, and so many applications. In this era, you, as a user, you are the content creator. You are the one supplying content. And you can also interact. And who else is expecting Web 3.0? Yes. While this Web 3.0 is actually not, does not have a specific definition yet, but we know that it is such that it's featuring decentralized technology like blockchain. It is one that is featuring metaverse, the metaverse, where you have virtual realities, a virtual world, augmented reality, and so on. But let's wait. My talk is not about this. My talk is not to bore you about my perspective about the advancement in technology. Not at all. My talk is about your own advancement in the evolving technology. How are we going to dance to the tune, to the rhythm, and to the beat, to which technology beat for us? It is geared towards getting you to steer new waters in technology. This is the crux of my talk. Now you ask me, what does it mean to see any waters in technology? It simply means for us to engage. It simply means for us to adopt. It simply means for us to be active and never to be passive with technology. It simply means for us to lead with technology. It simply means how can we creatively and innovatively use technology for our growth and advancement as humans, as you, your career, or any anything you want to talk about. It simply means how can we capitalize on technology to cause our nation's growth, our business furtherance. Now, some of you might know this brand, Femi Pharma, the Flying Pharma. Yes, that's me. You will agree with me that I have demonstrated and expressed my passion for agriculture. Yes, from my teenagehood, I have passion for anything called agricultural development, topics like food security, um, technological advancement in agriculture, or you call it agri-tech. That is me. And I've been involved in contributing to the food supply of my society. That's me in the college, in college days. That's Pepe. Various kind of crops, all right? And even it to the crops that they say cannot be grown in the Southwest, my region. But I recognize that technology has a place in agriculture. Despite the vagaries of the changing climate, despite the, um, the woes that we have, the uncertainty, we have used technology to be able to produce food. And we have adopted smart, uh, climate smart technology, such as the drip irrigation, to produce food for my community. And that has generated into us maximizing our resources. Resources like water, like fertilizer, and the likes. And we have generated or produced and grew more with less. You can see that that's an harvest of cucumber. But all of these were before the mid of 2019, when I had the opportunity um, to have a master's degree in integrated pest management in the United Kingdom through the Commonwealth Scholarship. And I thought, because as a person who is open to technology, and I know the place of technology, I never sat there. I have realized early the place of digital technology in how it is revolutionizing agriculture. So I seized that opportunity to learn in the United Kingdom and get licensed as a drone pilot. And now I'm using it in agriculture. So I moved from the family farmer, who is always backing up such prayer, to try to protect his crop so that he can feed you. Walking all around the acres of field, all the whole day long to the family farmer who is not using drones to be able to serve himself and not only serve himself but also serve, serve farmers in order for them to, pro um, to protect their crops from the in uh, infestation of pests and diseases which takes about 20 to 40 percent of our harvest and we are not only doing that I am also taking with my uh, engagement with drone 
I'm also taking farmers away or preventing them for the exposure to the exposure of hazardous chemicals, which you call pesticides. And we are also making their life easier. It is not, it is not ended. I've also gone ahead to steer the water by Femi Farmer just depending on oil and cost losses to farm, to one who is now using drone technology and drone data to be able to generate insights that remove guesswork away from agriculture. You can be able to know your land, you can be able to know the health of your crop. Even if your crop cannot talk, your drone can tell you what, what, what is happening to them. The, the steering has not stopped also. I have also moved into the adoption of artificial intelligence and associated technology, which you call machine learning and the likes, the buzzwords, in generating deeper insights and recommendations that are more specific for farmers, making agriculture more sexy. I know you can relate to that. Now, I can't leave this thing without talking about the future of work or the work of the future. The work of the future is that one that is ingrained and deeply fitted in technology. You cannot, I, I, I'm sorry to say, we cannot strive, let's say 15 years to come, just to be modest, without you having tech skill, being adept with technology. Technology is ruling. Technology is changing things. Changing things about the work of the future and the future of work, as the case may be. It is time for us to steer. I want to tell you something. Technology can never be slower than it is moving right now. The pace at which technological innovation or advancement is just evolving. We cannot keep pace at it. It is growing at an unprecedented rate. But what do we do? As technology is moving at the speed, we have to climb on the halt and direct it. That is what we do as humans. That is where we have the control. That you do not have the control about the speed of, at which technology is moving, but we have the control to which we can direct our course. I want to also end this talk. I want to end this talk by encouraging us. It is time for us to steer new waters in technology. It is time for us to get involved with technology. You might not be like Femi Farmer who is using drone. It might just be as simple as optimizing your social media for your career. It might just be as optimizing um, or using digital technology or digital marketing to promote your business in whatever way. My point is that we need to optimize and maximize the resources of technology that we have at hand. We must not sit down high do. We must not just let technology pass us by. We must be able to lead with technology. We must be able to change the conversation with technology. We must be able to shape our world with technology. And if you have been steering the waters like Femi Farmer in agriculture, I say thank you. Well done. We have to keep steering. Keep steering and keep steering until we move beyond the borders. Thank you very much. Round of applause for family.